Welcome back. New details tonight on the potential sale of the Miami Marlins. A well-known businessman is now teaming up with the group that includes Jeb Bush, and he's already sharing some thoughts on fixing the franchise. CBS 4's Hank Tester joins us live from the Marlins Park. Hank. Well, he's a local guy who's made real good, and he's famous on TV, a reality show for turning around troubled business. Now, he wants to buy in to the Miami Marlins. Let's take a look. This is a customer service order. His show is called The Prophet, a reality show where South Florida raised and Christopher Columbus high grad Marcus Limonis guides troubled businesses to, you guessed it, profits. Well, Justin Gord. He'd like to get into this game where profits can be elusive, be one of the group to buy the attendance challenge Miami Marlins from current owner Jeffrey Loria. Limonis says local ownership is essential. When I got a call from Jeb, he really wanted to make sure that whatever he was doing with the team had a local flavor and a local feel. Jeb is Jeb Bush after trying to strike a deal with Derek Jeter to buy the team. Now has joined forces with Tag Romney and New York investor Wayne Rothbaum. You never got my permission to do it. Lamonis not only fixes businesses on TV, he's a CEO of Camping World and Good Sam Enterprises. So what does Mr. Fixit propose for the Miami Marlins? Roll up your sleeves and go knock on doors in Little Havana. Go knock on doors on South Beach. Go down to Homestead. Go up to Fort Lauderdale and really engage with business owners, with high schools. Really make it Miami's team again. After years of controversy, the stadium, the out-of-town owner, the fire sales, the name of the game, if this team is sold, is... This team needs to have participation from Miami people who know what Miami's about. Being from Miami, being part of Miami is special. You have to know what that means, and you can't teach somebody that. That's what this team needs to win. 